This method can quickly determine if samples contain Zika virus. This is useful for pregnant women, couples trying to conceive, or surveillance of local mosquito populations that are at risk for Zika infection. The main advantage of this technique is that it's fast, easy, does not require expensive equipment, and can be done without an RNA isolation step. The implications of this technique extend towards diagnosis of Zika infection, because infection during pregnancy is linked to miscarriage, stillbirth, and other severe congenital neurological birth defects. Though this method can provide insight into Zika, it can also be applied to other infectious diseases such as dengue, chikungunya, or West Nile virus by using virus-specific primers. To begin, reconstitute each RT lamp primer in molecular grade water to a final concentration of 100 micromolar. Briefly vortex the primer solution to ensure the solution is homogeneous. Centrifuge for about 5 seconds at maximum speed to collect the primer solution. Then, prepare a 10x RT lamp primer mix as outlined in Table 2 of the text protocol. Vortex briefly to ensure homogeneity and centrifuge briefly at maximum speed to avoid any loss. Store the primers at minus 20 degrees Celsius between uses, avoiding any free-thaw cycles. For human urine samples, use either fresh urine, frozen urine, or urine in preservative. Thaw any frozen samples on ice before use. Human serum